Hi guys. So for today, we're gonna try something new. I haven't really done this before. Um, but I'll do it now because if not now, then when? I'm gonna read an entry from one of my journal. <laughs> I'm not sure how will this go. How this will go. But let's do it anyway. Okay, so I'm going to start with reading the um, dates. November 6, 2023. 6.24 p.m. Dear Diary, I'm addressing words that are stuck in my throat to you again. Like I am 17 or 15. I'd like to think no one really knew me more than I in the pages that I splatter with my indefatigable mind. I'll bite my mind incessantly being filled with thoughts, remaining the same. My age didn't remain still. True, we just keep aging. It's been a growing. But who's counting, right? Sigh. Where do I even begin? I'm a, I am so OA when I write. I, have, I, I use a lot of like, sigh, wah, shit like that. Anyway. You've been, ah, oh, sorry. You've been quite a spectator of life's tribulations and celebrations. Need I mention my undying romanticism? Wow. Speaking of which, this is exactly why I have deliberately and most enthusiastically decided to confide in you. What the fuck? Wait, I'm trying to remember what made me write this. I don't remember having a crush. I don't remember giving myself any reason to write that line. But okay. Okay. Let me go back. I have deliberately and most enthusiastically decided to confide in you. Like I am a 15-year-old girl who hurried home to write about getting noticed by her crush for the first time. Except that this one's more mature. Aging did me well for being wise. Scam. Here it is. Before, I used to write about being such a hopeless romantic. I still do. I've never been quite with the right people and haven't been quite myself either, real. But alas, I can't help but feel like there is a glowing light in my chest that is so nice and warm to carry around. Oh, you felt that way before? That's cute. For years, I often find myself in situations that keep me in the dark. But I have gone past that by making decisions that I know will align with myself. Good for you, girl. I am now back to where I am feeling secured with myself. I have learned to love myself more and be more patient with myself. I have done things for me. And boy, does it feel nice to know that I am not the same person that I was. Also, can I just say that I have been less anxious as a person? Like... How cool is that? I really wrote that, guys. I really wrote that, guys. I didn't know it, guys. Okay. Best part is... Dot, dot, dot. It's one of my favorites, but I have been... I have been trying to contain it. I have so much of it. Ding, ding. Love. All in uppercase. L-O-V-E. I really wrote that also. That's why I did that. I'm getting shy, but okay, sure. I don't know why, but I have a feel. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that it won't feel so distant anymore. I don't have to yearn for the way I want to be loved. Like it's so distant and out of reach. Word. It will happen. I feel it in my bones. From here onwards, it'll only get better. 
the love that is other than mine will come and I will let it. And it will be so gentle and kind and it will be the very reason why it didn't work with and for others. That one's beautiful. I like that paragraph. And then the last line. <clears throat> I fear nothing that doesn't work for me anymore. Forever true and Well, that was nice. I like that I wrote, and it will be the very reason why it didn't work with and for others. Sometimes we're, sometimes when we are in the present, we tend to be like very anxious about like making things work, even though it's so obvious that it's not feasible or like, you know, like it's like. We're so desperate to make things work when it's so obvious that it's not meant to work or it's not meant for you. Only because we like we tend to hold on to things even though they're unhealthy na. Because we have this fear man god nga, I don't have anything else. This is what I've got. Alang. But the thing is, you do have something else. But you've got to let that one go because you can't welcome something that's very huge for you if you're not going to make space in your life. So I think that's a new mindset that I... Well, it's not really a new mindset. I have thought of that before and I'm pretty sure you have also. It's just that it's really hard to kind of be consistent with that. And I like that I read this today tonight rather because I think it's a reminder now sometimes if things don't work it's for a reason and with loss there is also gain and um yeah this is so reassuring I feel so light after reading this I hope you guys got something from it Thank you for listening.